colleague from Auckland Museum, Lisa Varga, and I were at a conference together and um, we decided to try and do a nationwide project uh, that would also benefit the National Council of Women. Well, Corinne and I from Museum Wellington um, have been wanting to do a blunt umbrella for a long time, so we thought that this project, the Women's Suffrage 125, was the perfect time. New Zealand led, um, led the way when it came to the women's suffrage movement. Uh, we wanted to choose products that really represented that trailblazing movement and the resilience of those New Zealand women and that's how we came up with um, the idea of a blunt umbrella including some other products. Um, independently we'd always talked about doing a blunt for our different institutions and it was just perfect. They're such a fantastic brand, iconic New Zealand company. Really really good quality uh, and a really good alignment for us. So yeah, we just gave them a call and got the wheels in motion. And they were really excited about partnering with two um, museums of national importance and when they came back with a yes, we were very excited. There may have been some squealing in the office. Oh yeah, we're, we're so excited and we're so thrilled with the final product. So as well as the blunt umbrella, there is a limited edition silk scarf, uh, 125, which will be hand numbered. That uh, represents the 125 years of women's suffrage in New Zealand. Supporting those two products, there is also a tote bag and a lens cloth. It was important for us to have National Council of Women involved in the project as well, particularly Kate Shepherd. Uh, the National Council of Women was started in 1896 and Kate Shepherd was their first president. The National Council of Women, of course, is still running now and they work for gender equality within New Zealand. Uh, so it just felt like a perfect alignment to have them involved as well. So money from every umbrella goes back to them.